Hi everyone, welcome. So, as you already know, technical officer C and stipendary trainee category 1 posts are already announced from BARC, right? Again, this is very wonderful opportunity for chemistry aspirants especially, okay, after scientific officer posts from BARC. So, my suggestion is don't miss this type of opportunities because as I already said you, very very less number of opportunities are there for our chemistry aspirants, right? Even if you write CSI or NET exam or any exam, employment is very very you know complex these days, very very complicated these days. It is very very you know difficult to uh, get employment especially in chemistry field, okay? So don't leave this type of exams. This is my personal suggestion to you first of all, right? Second thing, this type of video, I'm going to provide you complete guidance for these two exams along with important topics, along with interview experience of my friend. Okay, so I have given once interview on scientific officer, but not this technical officer and uh, trainee post. Okay, I never uh, attended for these interviews, but my friend attended this interview. I have, I have taken complete guidance from her. She has given one message about her complete interview experience on my whatsapp i'm going to share that complete message with you okay uh, regarding that interview experience okay and complete guidance and this type of guidance there definitely i can say this type of video you can never find anywhere right so listen carefully okay so first of all the technical officer c and the second one is category one stipendary trial and this technical officer C generally they conduct uh, they already mentioned in the notification that they are going to conduct one interview if okay applications are high if receiving applications responses are high then they will co conduct one computer based test first of all I am going to discuss regarding computer based test if they conduct computer based test how it might be because it is purely expectation right it is purely expectation based on the previous uh, years okay but uh, the computer based test they might conduct like this okay if they conduct computer based test along with interview the computer based test might conduct like this okay so we will see so first of all this is purely computer based test online and 100 questions they will give you completely this computer based test is of the gate level okay because i talked i have talked with so many uh, people who have already attended for this technical officer post okay they said to me that this exam is of just gate level exam but again although it is a gate level exam you don't need to uh, go into depth right so i will tell you which type of chapters which type of questions and which type of chapters uh, they will ask you in this type of exam this computer based test but this is of gate level and also the basic questions of gate level not depth questions of gate level okay so very easy exam this actually this is called screening test so this screening test is just qualifying in nature just a qualifying in nature you don't need to afraid anything you don't need to worry about anything it is just qualifying in nature if you can qualify this uh, test then your selection will completely completely depend on interview right if they do not conduct the test they will ask you to attend the interview directly okay so totally 100 questions will be there and they will give you two hours of time two hours of duration to attempt the questions and each question is of three marks and negative marking is one okay as they already mentioned in the notification and this is of gate level okay so i will uh, talk about the interview next first of all i will talk about this computer based test in the stipendary training in the stipendary training post you have uh, one written test is there after the written test one interview will be there here also completely your selection will completely depend on your interview performance only okay so now this is also computer based test but the duration is one hour here they will give you 40 questions okay and three marks for each question negative marking is there only one mark negative marking and bsc level exam so first of all 
this is gate level exam that's why they asked the qualification of a msc here this is the bsc level exam okay you don't need to worry about this exam especially okay this is very very easy exam even though it is a bsc level exam the completely your uh, computer based test will be on the 11th and 12th syllabus i will tell you which chapters are important okay so just see okay this is the completely basic level exam and bsc level exam this is type entry tiny post and if you come to interview first of all if you want to attend for any interview okay if you want to at attend for any interview like ongc bark any interview first of all you have to know what are the responsibilities i have already given a website link in my last video last notification video in the description of that video i have given one link right so go through that link open the bark website so in the bark website so initially we have one option here okay initially we have one option here that is about section in the about section you have to know what is bark and what are the responsibilities of bark okay first of all if you want to attend any interview you have to know about their about that company okay that is your prime responsibility to know about their company because they might ask about uh, they, ma they might ask questions regarding that particular company so you have to know what is bark so just read the article about bark first of all by going through their website next one responsibilities so you have to know what are the responsibilities of technical officer see and what are the responsibilities of stipend training you have to have an idea on these responsibilities for this again go through their website in that website recruitment section is there in that recruitment section training and program section is there training and program option is there just click on that if any information is there okay note down and read once okay and also just go through google search in google search you can have i think most probably you can have these responsibilities of technical officer c and stipend attorney uh, posts right so if you want to uh, go for any interview it is your responsibility to know about that particular company particular institution right so this is the first fundamental thing uh, that what actually you have if you want to go for the interview right so next one i am going to provide you important topics right important topics i'm going to provide you i'm going to give you <clears throat> one list of important topics after that important topics i will share you the interview experience of my friend complete interview ex experience is so attractive right please don't miss this interview experience i will tell you uh, about her interview experience completely right okay first <clears throat> so this written test i'm going to discuss about this written test regarding stipend rate trainee so for this stipend rate trainee post okay for this stipend rate trainee post so the first chapter so completely this is of uh, 11th and 12th class okay so 11th and 12th class syllabus is enough but the chapters are very important chapters the very important chapters are chemical kinetics the first chapter is chemical kinetics so chemical kinetics chapter is very important okay so the first chapter is chemical kinetics second the important chapter equilibrium equilibrium chapter is important next spdf block elements yes pdf block elements next one is coordination okay so coordination these chapters are important actually this is the syllabus of stipendary 2 but this is the syllabus of stipendary 1 2 okay and next one is uh, important thing redox reactions redox reaction and very basic level hydrogen okay and hydrogen and especially the organic part general organic chemistry halo alkanes halo arenes and everything regarding ncrt organic chemistry right ncrt organic chemistry next one is uh, next next important thing molecular structure right so the molecular structure is important that is chemical bonding right chemical bonding 
chemical bonding this is important next one is surface electro right surface electro and uh, remaining thing is periodicity periodicity solutions solutions and very important the metallurgy right so metallurgy is very very important why because extraction of metals right extraction of metals is very very important so why extraction of metals are important because this department is department of atomic energy so department of atomic energy is conducting these exams so you have to know about the atoms first you have to know about the atoms you have to about you have to know the bond strength of uh, particular molecules and you have to know about the metals also okay extra extraction of metals and uh, everything is very important so metallurgy chapter is also important according to me so just to read ncert 11th and 12th books okay ncert 11th and 12th books and basic level of uh, bsc that is that is more than enough right and general organic chemistry complete all chapters of general organic chemistry basic level understanding only basic level understanding is enough you don't need to prepare uh, the level of csr net and gate okay so these are the important chapters so after these important chapters see interview experience okay i will rub this as my as the size of the board is small so i'm just removing everything sorry okay so first of all interview experience right in this interview experience what actually she said to me first of all she entered into the room right uh, interview room so totally in this interview room so this is the interview room she entered from here right so here one chairman is there at the center one chairman is there and around this chairman totally 7 to 8 members are there 7 to 8 expert members are there okay 7 to 8 experts are there so these total experts these 7 to 8 experts are of different subjects okay one person is of chemistry another person of physics another person of uh, economics like that first of all uh, this chairman okay asked to uh, uh, sit by showing one chair right so one chair is there she sat down now the chairman started to ask the questions first question introduce yourself okay so after her introduction after her introduction the chairman asked to write some chapters which are interesting to you on whiteboard okay he has provided one whiteboard to her and asked to write five important topics generally bark interview is just the same of every interview scientific officer for scientific officer for technical officer for any exam almost similar interview will be there right okay so they provided one whiteboard so on whiteboard she has written five topics so the first one is some chemical kinetics or second one is something third one is states of matter fourth one is gvc fifth one is something like that okay now just to make you person comfortable chairman first of all will start to ask a basic level questions regarding one particular chapter among this five among this five chairman will start to ask questions on one chapter from the basic level itself just to make you person comfortable once the chairman feel that you are comfortable that you are in a comfortable zone he will give a signal to the other member who is just expert in the particular field means for suppose if chemistry expert is there okay if the chairman will feel that you are comfortable that you are okay that you are cool now he will give a signal to this chemistry expert to ask a questions to you now this chemistry expert this chemistry expert will start to ask questions to you he will also start questions from the basic level itself okay here 
you have to remember one thing you have to be very very honest if you know the question give answer if you don't know the question just clearly say that i don't know okay if you say that you don't know they will try to give some hints to you they will try to give some hints to you so that you can give answer okay okay so if you give answer on one particular question that interviewer will go to the next question which is very relevant to the previous question your next question will always depend on the answer you given on previous question they are very very experts remember they are really really uh, they, they have very very depth in knowledge regarding subject okay so that that's why if you know the answer give the answer otherwise say honestly that you don't know okay so this is the interview and they will uh, they will go through multiple questions okay they will go through multiple questions they will ask maximum to maximum is of this five chapters only if you give five five chapters they will stick to that five chapters only okay most probably they will stick to uh, that five chapters only and they will try to give the hints okay especially in interview they will see uh, what you are okay what you are your positivity level okay you are uh, how how calm you are during the interview these all things they will observe okay so this is the interview experience of her okay uh, yeah that's all so if you have any other questions please let me know in the comment section i will try to answer every question of you uh, that's all thank you so much